Hello there. Welcome to the Ruby Princess. So we're in the Explorer's Lounge right now. Yeah. And we recorded us getting on the ship, so I'll go ahead and insert that now. All right. Getting ready to get on the cruise ship. On the way to camera range. So in the bottom left corner. So where are we going? We're going to Mexico. We're going to Honduras. But where are we going right now? Oh, into chicken. On the Ruby Princess. Yeah, All right, check. see you guys soon. Hi everyone, this is the check-in area. So if you're you're separated by blue lane and green lane, and then you come in here, and you're gonna speak to one of these people at the iPads. All right, next step, ship. Okay, well that was it. We yeah. got right through, we got checked in, we got this piece of paper. So if you guys haven't done this before, um, use, or have done this before, you, usually they use like this big old white table and everyone's over there. Everyone has iPads now, maybe this is a princess thing, but it makes it very much easier because there's like 20, 20 different places to go. All right, escalators. Let's go. All right, so we breeze through the check-in process in about five minutes. But it does look like there's a little bit of a line getting on the ship. So we'll let you know how long it takes us to get there. We're just waiting to scan in now. So that's what everyone was waiting for. You scan in here instead of right on the ship. So we made it through. We scanned our medallions. And now we're about to take our first steps on the ship. You guys should need to know, you guys need to know your cabin number. Because there's other things if you go on another cabin. All right. We're getting on. I tried to provide you guys with a little background while we were doing it so just in case um, it's not very can't hear it very well or anything I'm gonna go ahead and explain it here so what you do when you arrive at the terminal is you give your luggage to the porter um, either he's they're gonna be running around when you're getting off the shuttle or you go to the area that says drop off luggage and there's gonna be one on either side and you give them your baggage so since you're using a porter and not just dropping it in there by yourself, we do recommend that you have a tip ready for them. And we weren't expecting that because we usually just drop ours in there and move yeah. on. But, um, so make sure you have a tip ready. Then when you get in, you go down a little ways and it's clearly marked and clearly signed and they give wonderful instructions when you're coming in. But you're gonna go in and you're going to take a right into the doors. You're gonna immediately go through security. So that's the first step. So we weren't able to film any of that because mm -hmm. that's you're not allowed to film that. And then after you go through there, you go into the check-in process. Mm -hmm. And for check-in, you need your passport and your medallions. So they're going to scan your medallion. And here's the medallion right here. And you're going to set it on the scanner. And you're going to hold it there until it turns green. Make sure that you don't pick hold it up it too there. quick. Yes, because I, I do that really bad. He, if, he does, if it doesn't work immediately, he assumes it's broken. Right. Or assume I am I have it on there incorrectly. Right, so you just hold it there until it turns green and then you go. It does take, I counted, it takes about four counts for it to change. So just go one, two, three, four, and it should work. So once you do that, they're going to, they may need to retake your picture, mm -hmm. so be prepared for that. And then they say go ahead and go, and then you go down a hallway and then you get in line to check on the ship. So I'm going to have the footage in here of what that looks like. So a lot of times when you're getting on a cruise ship, you check in right after you cross over onto the ship. But here they have you do it in the terminal. And I think that's so that if it's hot or anything, you're not waiting out in the sun to check in, which I think is really good. So then you go and you check in. And then when you enter the ship, there's going to be somebody there to help you figure out what your muster station is. And then you do your muster first. And then we recommend that you go ahead and watch your muster video. It takes about seven minutes. And you have to get on the ship's Wi-Fi to mm -hmm. play it. So. Oh, that's right. That's a good point. So she showed me where it is. So where it is on your app is you're going to go and open the app to the screen it opens to. And you're going to scroll down like two, like a, what, a page down? Yeah, a page, about a page down. And it's going to say safety. What was the word? So that's with an M. So you're going to scroll down about actually two pages. And it's going to be as far down as you can go it's going to be in the ocean ready section mm -hmm. and it's going to say safety essentials so once you're on the medallion wi-fi yes. you go there you click safety essentials it's going to tell you what your muster station is and if you didn't run into one of the helpful employees mm -hmm. and then so you're going to go to that station and then it says watch the video and so then you watch it it takes about seven minutes so i say go ahead and sit down mm -hmm. get comfortable and and watch it and then once you do that, it's okay. And then once you go back out of your safety essentials, it should have both your little boxes checked. Yes. 
Yeah, so. That has to be checked or they will come find you. Right, so you have to have all that done and then you can go enjoy your cruise. So they gave us this slip of paper and I took a picture of it, so I'll insert that here. Uh, but this is all the places that are open for you to go eat at. So you can go up to the buffet, which is called the World Fresh Market on Horizon Court. Uh, you can go to any of the smaller eateries, do Slice, a Salty Dog, or you can wait until noon, which is what we're gonna do. And we're gonna go to the Da Vinci dining room to sit down and eat. So that's where we're gonna be headed next. Yeah. So that's where we'll be next. And you can also, it says optional hand luggage storage is on in Michelangelo from 11 to 1230. So I guess you can go drop your stuff off there until yeah. it's time to go to your room. I didn't realize that. So that's, that's good to know. Mm -hmm. We were fine. He can carry it, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna go to lunch. We're gonna show you the menus and what we get. And maybe, maybe we'll even talk to you in there. I doubt it. I doubt it, but. Show you some pictures. Yeah. Look, we're so excited. This is our first time on Princess. And so we're excited so far, to so good? explore the new line. It's very pretty, pretty ship, even very though it's, it's an older ship. So yeah, all right, all right guys, let's go, let's go. All right, we're gonna watch Will carry the suitcase down the stairs. This is how he does it, guys. So in order to go eating the dining room, you have to check your luggage in, and you have to check it in at Michelangelo, Michelangelo deck, five. deck five midship, and then you have to go upstairs to Da Vinci on deck six to eat. So you have to check your luggage, your hand luggage, if you're going to go eat in the dining room. So maybe don't. I'm not sure. We'll report back later. I think. Close. Well, I just jumped to this post. Four one one. Oh, perfect. All right, here we Hey. So you guys know. Says they're unlocked. All right, well, we're gonna go in and put our stuff down, then we'll give you a tour. All right, so here we are inside our room on the Ruby Princess, an interior room, and this is your muster information. Now let's see what else this room has to offer. Okay, so we're in our interior room. So when you first come into the room, you're gonna see right here to my right that we have a giant closet area does not come with these suitcases those are ours there are robes and then we're gonna step in and will's gonna stay out so he can still see but i'm gonna go in we have some shelves here we have a safe this safe is bigger it's bigger than normal i don't, look, I don't think a lot of in there still but it's let's do our bigger. hand test remember my average size female hand It actually fits your hand just fine. I can't touch either side. Yeah. It's pretty big. It's got the keypad on it, so you don't have to bring a card or anything for that. And then, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six shelves. Over here we have plenty of hangers, and then some storage up here on top. And then, you turn around, step this way you have a full-length mirror no one wants to see me in the video though so we're gonna go back to you all right so come on let's go check out the bedroom area so this is the bedroom area we have the bed with a nightstand on either side and it looks like the nightstand has two drawers and I want you guys to tell me when we pan around what does appear not to belong in this room? Well, you probably already saw it. Because we have a mirror back here, but... What is out of place here? I feel like something may have been an afterthought. Added afterwards. Anyways, you may not see it. Alright, so then we have some shelves here. And then we have more shelves here. Okay. 
A lot of storage. Oh, we, we bought waters. This is not included. That's yeah. just us. And then a fridge here. Let's see how cold it is. Is it actually cold enough it's for pretty, it? It's pretty cold. Can we adjust it? I don't think so. So it may be cold oh, enough maybe. for drinks. It may not be cold enough for medicine still. So I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say that. Like, not it's cold probably, enough it's probably for medicine. Probably not cold enough for medicines. I would definitely get ice to make sure your medicines are able to be chilled properly. We have a chair and a vanity area with the phone. This is a hair dryer. And then. Hey look, guys, we have TV. It's very small, though. Very small TV. Do you think you'll be able to see that? I don't think so. I think it needs to be slightly bigger. Huh. Slightly bigger. And then there's some mirror, mirror back here too. There's mirrors everywhere in this cabin. It makes it look a little bit larger. Mirrors, mirrors everywhere. All right, so lastly, we are going to look in the bathroom. Okay, so I'm gonna stay out because this is pretty small area, but you have your mirror, sink, some storage underneath, you got some side storage, towel rack, towel rack, toilet, and your shower. So it, it does have the shower curtain and it does look to be a pretty small space here, but it does have the um, little drying rack there. All right, that's the bathroom. All right, so we just got done eating lunch in the main dining room. That took about an hour, a little, more a little longer than an hour. And you, you order everything at once. You order your appetizer, your main course, and your dessert all at one time, which I'm not a huge fan of. I'd rather eat my meal and decide if I want dessert. So that's something I've noticed. I'm not saying it's awful, just saying not my preference. And we'll insert the food that we got here. Yeah. I got, well, I ordered a garden salad with balsamic vinaigrette. And this is what I got. This is a garden salad with ranch, yeah. which I love ranch. So, fine, fine with me. And Will got? Oh, the ravioli, but I got it as an appetizer. Size. Okay. So we'll see. I don't actually know if it really matters, but here it is right here. All right, and then for my entree, I got the beef tenderloin. I just couldn't resist, guys. I just couldn't. And for my entree, I got the burger. I should have got the tenderloin. He didn't really enjoy his burger. Well, my tenderloin was really good. It had like a, kind of like a brown gravy sauce on it, which was good. And then for dessert, I just got some Nutella ice cream. And it was a little bit icy, but overall it had a pretty good texture for cruise ship ice cream. And I got the Sherry Trifle, try something. It was good. Did you like it? I did like it. Would you get it again? Yes. Okay, well, I didn't even know what it was when he ordered it, so I'm glad you found something new you like. Yeah. So now what we're gonna do that we got our stuff, we went and kidnapped our luggage. Yeah, because there was no one there. Well, because they told us back. to come back at 1245, but the dining room took so long. <laughs> well, we're, I didn't know what we were supposed to do. We were supposed to just get up in the middle of lunch and, and go get and we it. we did and the proper thing. We went to a table that had, uh, that you shared a table because we we wanted to get in and out. Yeah, we, we made some new friends, I think. Yeah. People were really nice at our mm -hmm. table. I really enjoyed eating with everyone. Uh, so that was really good. Yeah. Um, we're so far so good. I, I really like the ship. Everything seems really nice. Mm -hmm. So positive first impressions. Yeah. I love that they have the main dining room open for lunch. Yes. Very much so. What, like some gold stars for that? Yeah, you get a half a gold star. <gasps> Only a half? Well, we don't know what, what all they have left. Okay, you get a gold star. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't cut a star in half, would you? No. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go explore a little bit and yeah. see what we can get into. Yeah. All right, see you guys soon. All right, so you can just get towels here. You don't have to check them out. It's on the honor code. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. People are in the pool. So you got some seating here along the side. It's the mix me. A lot of this fake turf stuff everywhere.
Jordan that popped into frame there? The elusive Jordan. What is she doing? Why is she acting so crazy? So just so you guys know, we are trying to uh, figure out the ship, We're doing yeah. a poor job of it because it's very, it's not like Car Carnival, it's not like Royal. So, so it's completely different to us. Yeah, so once we figure it out, we're gonna take you guys around and show you. Yeah, we, we may even do a ship tour, d d but don't count on that. That's gonna be Will's job. Because it's gonna be hard. He's responsible for getting the footage, and then I'll do a voiceover. Yeah. The sun's really bright. I'm sun's gonna try bright. to how to figure out how to get in the fitness center. Okay. Goodbye. Okay, uh, oh, hi there. We're back to our couch. Yeah. Um, we're still kind of a little confused about the how you get around the ship. There's not a lot of uh ways where you can go down a hallway and then back the other side of the ship. On the ship, is you have yeah. to really figure out how to navigate the ship. Yeah, so we're still learning, so that's why we haven't really been filming. It's just, I feel like we would just get you guys even more confused, just wandering around dead ends and trying to figure it out. So we were planning on t trying to do Crown Grill. Yes. So we're going to get on the app and see about if they have any open times. I didn't want to book it before because I wanted to use our onboard credit. Yeah. So that's why I didn't book it ahead of time. But it's a little trick for you guys. We might be out of luck. Yeah. So. It, it, the, at our at our lunch table, one of the couples was saying that it was pretty booked up. So, mm -hmm. if we don't get to go, we don't get to go. Yeah. We usually don't do specialty dining on our first cruise. Mm -hmm. um, well, I, if you've seen our independent series, you'll know we did, but that was different that was circumstances. Different. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna do now. But we've just been walking around and exploring. There's a ton of pools on here. Yeah. So and if, people aren't in them. So no. So if you like pools and you're a pool person, I would say wear your suit underneath the sundress, or you know, if you're a dude, like just wear your trunks and a shirt to get on the ship, and just grab some deep and head to the pool because yeah. they're pretty empty. There's a few kiddos in the pool, but that's about it. And that's yeah. only one pool. So yeah. And kind of four, if you count four. And there's these three big pools. One thing I forgot to mention earlier about the lunch portions, they're they're a small portions. Which I don't think is a bad thing. You no. can order more things, just like my, um, you'll see, you saw the picture, but it was definitely manageable for lunch. So I don't know how dinner's gonna be yet, but as far as for lunch, I thought that was a really good size. I don't feel yeah. too full, I feel good. I feel great. Yeah, and we had a big breakfast this morning, so. Because mm -hmm. we didn't eat dinner last night. No, not at all. Yeah, so we were hungry this morning, but, so I was kind of worried that lunch would be too much, but it wasn't. All right, well, we're gonna see how we do trying to book Crown Grill and we'll let you know kind of how that works. Hello there, we just got out of the room. Yeah. Really got changed it into her outfit. a little cooler, it's hot up there. We're gonna go it's to the sail away party, so I put on something a little bit less warm, a little airier. Yeah. So I was just gonna time the elevators. We've been taking the stairs all day, so I was just. Oh yeah, the, the thing about these elevators, you have to hit all of them. Oh, you do? Yeah. See this one, only the lights on for this. Oh, so we're just waiting on this one elevator? Yeah, just waiting on this one elevator. There you go. Oh. So, you have to hit all of them. Well, that seems like a lot of work. Yeah. You were in, uh, um, I, I think we're just gonna take the stairs. Yeah, we're gonna take the stairs. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Nick 
Captain, it's my pleasure to be your cruise director for these next seven days and what a cruise we have planned for you. Now we've got a great entertainment team running all those wonderful activities for you each and every day. It doesn't matter if it's a day in board or a day at sea. Make sure you get to know them. They are your cruise directors team. They are up here right now. Let's make some noise all the way from Mexico. This is Angie. Javi! From India, this is DJ Calvin! 